Do you have cats? I do. I have two. This is Stark. The other one's lounging around elsewhere. Who knows where she's at right now? So today I thought I would spoil my cats and I figured you guys might want to join me in spoiling our fellow feline friends. Fellow feline friends. That's hard to say fast, isn't it? So today we're going to make a cat toy. Yeah. What do you think? You like this? Oh yeah, I think the cats are going to love this. So if you've picked up a kit at the library, you should have one cork, one ribbon, and then three feathers on there. Uh, if you're doing this at home on your own, you can use uh, pipe cleaners, ribbons, feathers, uh, pieces of fabric, whatever you want to use. The main thing that you need is cork and then also epoxy. Epoxy is really great because uh, when it dries, it's actually supposed to be non-toxic for cats. And so that's wonderful. We don't want to poison our cats, do we? We want them to have fun with our toys. So what do you think, Stark? Should we get started? All right, I'm going to talk you through all the videos and I hope you guys Okay, so the it. first thing you're going to want to do is boil your cork and you're going to set your timer for five minutes. Uh, you can do it a little bit longer if you like. Uh, you just have to do it for at least five minutes. So I'm going to get that started. Let the water boil and stir it around a bit. Just make sure it gets plenty of heat, gets wet. Okay, so it's been in there for five minutes. Let it cool off, wave it off a bit. And I'm just gonna set it aside before I touch it, let it cool down. Make sure you shut your stove top off. And now let's start the fun part. All right, you will need scissors. The three feathers that I gave you, if you're using the kit, and the ribbon. You'll have your boiled cork. Then you're going to have your epoxy, which will be your glue. Something to mix your epoxy on and something to mix your epoxy with. So you're going to start with using your scissors and you're going to carve a hole in one side of your cork. Just twist your scissors around or the cork around until you have a nice sized little hole there that you are going to stick everything into. may take you a bit to get the size you want. Okay, now brush out any of that cork that's loose in there. And get to your epoxy. So pop off the lid. Squirt it out onto your tray. Looks like I'm having a little trouble with mine. Hold on. All right, if you have a uh, block in there, you can use a pin or a fork to make the hole go through and then there it goes. Just do a different spot. There we go. You don't need much. That's actually probably too much, but it comes out fast. Make sure your lid goes back on the right way. And then you're going to stir it up. See, it gets kind of an opaque look to it. And then you're going to scoop up some of that epoxy and you're going to put it into the hole. Okay. Now you're going to take your decorations, your feathers, pipe cleaner, whatever you want to use. In this case, three feathers and a ribbon. Put them all together so that each end is touching. And then you're going to want to twist it. The twisting makes the point smaller for a well, less in the way for the point so that you can more easily get it into the hole and be able to see what you're doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that in there. And 
can just hold it in place for a few minutes, or not a few minutes, two seconds. Let it settle. And then give it a once over, see if there's anything you don't like, and use a safety pin or a fork, prongs of a fork, to just kind of make adjustments in there and get everything where you want it. Okay, and there is your cork mouse. Thanks for watching everyone, and I hope your cat's having as much fun as mine.